Welcome to Yankee Baseball. If you're just joining us, my name is Vic DiBetetto. And uh, if you're just joining us, it's the bottom of the first. The Yankees are coming to bat. Here's the lineup. Brett Gardner leading off. Aaron Judge second. Giancarlo Stanton third. Neil Walker cleanup. Tyler Austin fifth. Miguel Andohar sixth. Jace Peterson seven. Austin Romine eight. And Ronald Torres. On the mound for the Orioles is number 43, Mike Wright Jr. There you see his record. Very chilly day, almost October-like here at Yankee Stadium. Oh, you have a special guest, Vic? We have a special guest with me. Joining us in the broadcast today is George Steinbrenner himself. George, how are you, George? Hello, Vic. It's good to be here. I must. I have to tell you, I've had a couple of mimosas, and I'm feeling very good. We drink a lot of mimosas in heaven. We thank you for taking your time out to join us in the broadcast. There's a lot been going on since you uh, last uh, joined us, uh, George. Uh, Hal and Hank have done a remarkable job working with the um, farm team. Uh, by the way, Brett Gardner is now leading off. So tell us, what are your thoughts about what your two sons are doing with this most celebrated franchise in sports history? Vic, I have to be honest with you. I haven't really been following the baseball. Well, I've been following the baseball, but my sons are idiots. And if you think that they have anything to do with the farm system, you're crazy. You're a farmer. Don't be a farmer, Vic. Well, George, we have the utmost. By the way, it's a 2 and 0 account. My mistake. I had a Phil Rizzuto moment. It's 1 and 1. Uh, as we see a little Eskimo behind home plate with the pink Parker on. So, George, what are your thoughts about uh, Aaron Boone? How do I get another mimosa, Vic? Foul ball. Well, do those bat noises sound loud to you? Yes, very loud. And uh, did we change the bats this year, Vic? I don't understand. They they make a lot of noise. Well, they uh, hollowed out the top as you, uh, but they went deeper with the hollowing out. As a matter of fact, the whole bat is hollow this I, year. I I don't remember bats being that loud, but okay. And the pitch outside that evens the count to two and two to Brett Gardner. You're just joining us, the Yankees just coming to the plate. You know, I have a funny, very funny story about Brett Gardner. When I when we first signed him, he was a short man with a big neck. And now he's a short man. And the pitch inside. Three and two. So Gardner, good eye working the count, trying to get something going here. So George, tell me uh, what your recent um experience is like who is the most there's Aaron Judge. What do you think of Aaron Judge, George? You know, Vic, he's a big, 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 big Big man. I can't say big enough. He's a big man. And, uh, but he look at him. And the pitch. That's a base hit in the gap. So Gardner leads off. Man on first and coming to the plate. Aaron Judge. Uh-oh. I thought they were going to get him. So, George, tell me, um, uh, what do you think about Aaron Judge in the, uh, number two, in the number two hole? You know, Vic, I, I, I had a lot to do back in the, in the 70s and the 80s with the, with the team, and the 90s even, and then I had a little problem with my memory, but it's all good in heaven now. But, I, I, you know, I don't know. Would I put him there? I, I might, I might not. I'd probably fire Billy Martin and then let somebody do something. George, how do you explain uh, all the empty seats right now uh, that we see behind Aaron Judge? Well, I think it's pretty simple, Vic. There's nobody sitting in the seats. Right, exactly. Good, good, uh, good observation. Low and outside. That was oh. a 93 mile an hour pitch. Look. Aaron Judge at the plate. Look. Gardner on first. No man out. No score. Oh, he's a big boy. Look at him. He's a big man. This man, Judge. Yes, for the acquisition of John Carlos Stanton, who's on deck. I mean, this is going back to the Mantle Maris days. Yes. In there for a strike. One and one to judge. Now, was he a lawyer and then he became a judge? Or because he's now a judge, did he didn't have to be? Excuse me, uh, Judge. We just have a little audio uh, technical. What happened to the there. crowd? We can't hear the crowd. The uh, microphone from the crowd just cut out. Um, uh, I'll fire. And the pitch. Uh-oh, that looks like trouble. Oh. Base it. You know Gardner's going to make it to third with his speed. So first and third for the Yankees. No outs. Beautiful way to stop the bottom of the first inning. It's and, funny. Um, it's funny when a, when a big man hits a ball like that. John Carlo. Look, here it is again, George. Look at that swing. Low. He goes down. And he just gets a piece of it. Opposite field. That shows you the power the judge has. Uh, I don't even know. He had the ball just cleared the outfield. And... And then that's uh, what happens sometimes. You don't have to be great. I played, I owned the team, and many people were on it. 
Well, here's Giancarlo Stanton that uh, we acquired from the uh, Marlins. Yeah, did we pay a lot for him? I haven't been paying attention. Oh, we paid uh, millions, millions upon millions, is George. He, I think he's, how many, what? Outside, so George, a lot of people say that every year the Yankees buy the World Series. Well, what's, your, what's your take on that? Every team is doing it, now, Vic. Every team is doing it. You show me a team that isn't doing it, and I'll show you a team that isn't doing it. He comes to the belt, and the pitch, low and inside. So they're pitching around Giancarlo. You know, Vic, I'm reading the signs. I hope they got a lot of money for those signs. Well, it's one-on-one one to count, Judge. Uh, no outs. Gardner on third. Judge on first. He looks in for the sign, comes to the belt. And the pitch. Foul ball. Those bats are loud. Yes, they're uh, using some kind of different wood uh, from uh, Louisville. <laughs> I don't even know what's funny, and I laughed about something. I think I had a memory. I think I had a memory. Speaking of memories, George, what is your greatest uh, moment oh. being owner of the New York Yankees? Oh, there are too many. There are too many. Too many. And the pitch. Strike. Uh -oh. He got him. How come the bat made a noise? He got, I don't know. Maybe that was uh, his wooden leg that hit the plate. I don't I, know, George. John Carr, here it is again. Now, what do you think of this pitch? Think I don't know. Uh, hold on. Oh, there yeah. was a swing. No, there. he swung so fast. That's how bad, how fast his bat speed is. He that's, swung so fast. That's amazing. It was a foul tip, and the catcher held it. The only person I ever saw do that was Mickey Mantle. He swung so hard, but he that the bat... Didn't even make a noise. He swung at the bat, didn't make a noise. Here, he didn't swing at the bat, made a noise. Wow, interesting, George. Well, coming to the plate is Neil Walker. Neil Walker is uh, doing a good job. Uh, take. What do you think of uh, uh, Greg Bird with all the uh, oh. injuries? Oh, the injuries. I, I don't understand what is happening with the players today, George. Jo George. Are you George? No, I'm George. I don't understand, Vic. I wish, well, I wish they would be healthy. I pay a lot. Of, well, I don't pay anymore, but my sons pay. And they... What are we talking about? And the, the pitch. Ground ball. This could be two. Hope not. Oh! oh that was a bad throw. Bad throw. He's safe. It well, looked, God in the scores. It looked like he pulled his foot off the bag. Yes, he did. We're going to see it again. See, I know. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, who do you think he's calling, George? I think he's calling me, except I'm not around. Now, if he called some... I don't know who else to call. Here it is again. He throws a second. Oh, everybody's the running. The throw is wide. His foot. Was, that's Machado doing a great job. Where's his foot? Not. Oh. oh. I think he was safe. I think he was out. I think he was out. Well, let's see if Watch. they uh, called the. Uh oh. For the replay. There's a lot of feet. I'm seeing feet. A lot of feet. Even the fans look a little disappointed. Watch all the feet. Yes. It's not the hands. It it's looks the feet. like he was out, Judge. Oh, boy. That's a high number, 99. Can we even... No. Well, they're not going to fight it. No, they didn't. They're not going to go to review. Here's uh, Tyler Austin. I would fire the manager if they don't for not doing that. You have to go after that. I agree with you, George. Low and in the dirt. 1-0. and oh. My philosophy is... Here, we're going to see it again, George. What's your take? Uh, I think... I don't know. I'm watching, but nothing's happening. Right. They didn't finish the I replay. I feel like I died again. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. And look at that. And everybody's running. So he's got his fingers there. Okay. All right. One and out. Oh, one out. First and second. And the pitch. Low and outside. That was a changeup. 83 miles an hour. Hey, Vic, let me ask you a question. Yes. So when you watch the Yankees today, are you this year, are you excited about them? Do you feel that... After last year, that they really are something? I think we got a good chance. They got to stay healthy. I mean, we came between one game of the World Series last year. We got a good shot. 2-0 to count. He looks in for the sign, comes to the belt. And the pitch. Low and outside. He's pitching around Tyler Austin. This is a good first inning. I like innings like this. You start, you start a game, you start a game, you score. You score a lot of runs, it makes it easier for the pitches. Yes. And, and people, and the game goes longer, and people drink more beer, and eat more hot dogs, and then we make a lot of money in the concessions. Yes, George, they need to capitalize on this. They can't get away with this inning with just one run. It's first and second, one out. 
They, we, they could open the game right open right now, George. And the pitch. Oh. It got the corner. So that'll bring the count to three and one. You know, this pitcher would never play for me. He's got facial hair. Now, what did you, how did you get all of Buck Showalter, George? Buck Showalter is a moron. And if you notice, he never wins a World Series. But when he leaves the team, then they win the World Series. I would hire him so that when I fired him, I would win the World Series the next year. Interesting, George. Interesting. Well, here's the pitch. So he walked him. Just missed the outside corner. So we got bases loaded. Great first inning for the Yankees. Bases loaded. One out. You just joined us. You know. Yes, George. You know, we used to have a nickname for Buck Walter. What was it? Dick Face. We would call him Dick Face. It's interesting because a lot of people uh, give credit to Show Walter. He built the Yankee team. Uh, and well, George, what do you think they're saying right now on the I, mound? I can tell you exactly what they're talking about. They want to know where they're going to go for dinner that night because they already lost the game. They can tell they lost the game. The pitch is not good. Buck Walter doesn't win. And they're from Baltimore. What do you expect? And what he's whispering now is, baby, you should change your cologne. A nicer cologne would make for a more pleasant meeting on the mound. Exactly. And it's a, he's already thrown 20 pitches. 10 were balls and 10 were strikes. What do you think about the pitch count and uh, how baseball has changed with the pitch count? You know, Vic, we talked about this before. When I come to visit you in, as different an, uh, inanimate objects, uh, the pitch count, uh, 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 be a man. Pitch, throw. Miguel Andahar to the plate. Base is loaded. Miguel, another young prospect that's been doing phenomenally, taking a place uh, on third or whatever they put him, had a hot spring, being that Todd Frazier is, uh, has been traded to the Mets, uh, third base. Is that Robinson Cano? No, that's Miguel Andujar. Well, he looks like Robinson Cano. No, Robinson Cano is with the Mariners now. Oh. I miss Robbie Cano. He was, he was a great, great player. When did we get rid of him? Well, a couple of years ago. Why? I don't know. He's on third, and I don't care. That's how Benton Costello. And the heart stepped out. He's back in. 0-1 the count. Bases loaded. One away. one nothing Yankees. Bottom of the first. Whoa. And the pitch. Oh, foul oh, tip. Oh, that was a loud tip. Yes. That was a very loud tip. I heard that foul tip all the way up here in the booth, Judge. Oh, my God. Never heard a foul tip like that before. So did we buy loud bats? I don't understand. No, the bats have been... Uh... Wow, there's a lot of empty people. Yeah, remember the pine tar incident with, with uh, Billy Martin oh, and George Brett? Oh, I remember Brett? the pine tar Were incident. you in the stadium on that game? I was in the stadium, and I had a... Was oh, on, and two. I was on the phone with a cleaning company that makes the bats clean from the pine tar. Interesting. We were almost going to clean that bat. Wow. Well, Billy Martin said, don't clean the bat. Because we want to win the game because it has pine really? tar. Yes, and I, you and, I, I had no idea what he was talking about. You and Billy had a love-hate relationship, didn't you? Yes, I love to hate him. <laughs> One and two to count. He looks in for the sign. Well, people are sitting down. Comes and to the belt. Two more tickets for And sold. the pitch. Low. That evens the count. There's no way to put Miguel Andujar. Two more people came in, Vic. I hope they order a hot dog. Well, maybe they're sitting in traffic on a George Washington Bridge. Man, no, no. You know. I just saw them come in and sit down. They're right there. George, what were, what were your thoughts? Like, why did they knock down the uh, Cathedral of Baseball? Oh, don't even get me started. I did that. I hate myself. I will never... I... 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 What? And the pitch! Ground ball! The score! Oh, gets through! The, gets through! One run will score! Judge scores! And the other guy scores! All right! So Andahar coming up with a big bases loaded single. Here it is again. Looked yeah. like a screwball. Hey, Vic. Hey, yes. Vic. Interesting how we even hear the back sounds in the, in the replay. Vic, why are you yelling? I'm very excited, George, and I know you're hard of hearing. You know, nobody yells in heaven. Nobody hell yells. In heaven, everybody talks very quietly. So who's the nicest person you met in heaven, George? Oh, I, I've met so many terrific people in heaven. Toulouse Lautrec. Toulouse Lautrec is a very nice man. He's very small. He and he, he, what? What is the question? 
I forgot. But anyway, and Marilyn Monroe. Was first nice. and second. Marilyn and Monroe. And the pitch. Marilyn Monroe. Foul back into the stands. Did you know uh, Marilyn Monroe and uh, the, uh, the whole thing with I him? I do, and, I did, I did, I and do. And Mr. Coffee, I, Joe D. Joe DiMaggio and Marilyn, we go to lunch all the time in heaven. Here's Jace Peterson. I have no idea where this guy came from. And then sometimes Ralph Kiner. Ralph Kiner shows up and we tell him to get lost. Oh, uh, Kiner's Corner. Remember it well. Yes. Owen won the count and the pitch. I don't know what In happened. there for a strike. That must have been another uh, quick swing that he foul tipped. What does another mean? Why did you just say another? I don't understand. And you're the announcer? Okay. Would you fire me, George? I would don't know what I would do with you. And the pitch! Inside, one and two. Sometimes I visit Susan Waldman at night, and I make noises in her apartment so she gets scared. Oh, Susan Waldman. And John Sterling. There was a couple of times I clogged up his toilet for no reason. Why would you get a, uh, not that she's a woman, I don't mind a woman, but a, why would an announcer with a Boston accent... Oh, there's more people coming. And more the pitch. People. More people. Ball. There's more people coming. Look at all the people. Yes, just you see dollar son, signs or son's, people. My sons are going to make money now. Oh, yeah, I figured that. Yes. Who are those two guys standing in the background? Uh, that's uh, two guys who aren't doing anything. They're on the payroll. I'm going to have to talk to my sons and get rid of them. They better get to work because there's not enough people to pay for them to do nothing. You want to hear a bat? That's a bat. Very good. All right, and the pitch. Oh, jeez, the bats are going crazy here. Evens the count to two and two. You just joined us. It's first and second. Hey, hey Vic, I got a question for you. Go I'm ahead, looking, Judge. I'm looking at the behind the, on the wall. Yes. And it says, Bismo. Bismo. Be, be. That's, the, that's the, the Spanish channel. Why, why do they have to have a word in Spanish for baseball? Why does it it's just baseball in Spanish? Well, everything is PC these days, Judge. You've been away for a while. I haven't uh, been around. Uh, 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 uh. And the pitch. Low! So, one ball away from loading up the bases again. This game is very exciting. Yes! Here I'm, we have uh, glad, the I'm stats, glad. as you can see in the lower left-hand corner. Is that, is that pine tar on the bat? Is that legal? Can you have pine tar on the bat? I don't know, I George. thought the whole pine tar thing was because you couldn't have pine tar on the bat. Don't get me angry. I, I mean, I got No, no, George, we, don't, we want you to die again. I gotta Relax. come down. I gotta come down. Three into the count. End the pitch. High pop! It's in play. Mark Belanger is back. And Mark, he makes the catch. Mark Belanger. I'm just, I just took a guess. I have no idea. Oh, that brings back memories. I was hoping he would look up at the sun and it would burn his retinas. Two away. First and second still. Bottom of the first. Three nothing Yankees. Coming to the bat. I can't tell you till I see. What did you score? Three to, three to nothing. Three to nine. He already three. 32 pitches, yeah, sorry, George. He has... Austin Romine is in. Is that like a lettuce, Romine? Is that a lettuce? He's taking place of uh, Sanchez, who's out with I, a... Uh, I thought he took the place of Iceberg, because then that would be a different lettuce. <laughs> right. Sanchez pulled his left hibiscus. Can I get some salad dressing? Outside... Uh oh, we lost oh, the. the uh, what happened? We lost the I've sound. Been, what? What? How do you lose the? We wait, lost the have, sound to the, of, what kind to the of crowd. Mic? Hold on, technical difficulties this, here, George. This is not good. This is not good. Hold on. This is not good. Where is the microphone, people? Okay, is we the, are back. I'm gonna call the microphone union. Two and zero. What are we playing music now? I don't now? know what's going on here, George. Uh. Where's the organist? <laughs> Can the organ man play? Here we go. Where All is, right. I don't know. We are back. You got to get new equipment in this new it stadium. It was never like this when I was the owner of the team, Vic. Never like this. You didn't lose the crowd. 2-0 to count. Vic, do you powder your crotch? Yes, when I manscape. Okay. And the pitch. He got a piece of that. Foul ball. 2-1 to count. Do you ever look at the people sitting there and look at their faces and wonder what they do? 
Well, I look at the people and I wonder why they don't watch the ball game. They're always on their phone or waving at somebody. That's a it's good not point. like the old days, George. No, I have a hard time watching the game. I like to watch the people. I'm a people watcher. You look at the person in the left on the third row. He looks unhappy. It's kind of cold there today, uh, George. Maybe that's why he's unhappy. And the pitch. Uh-oh, we got another base hit. One run will score. Wow, Romine. Oh so the Yankees are, uh, they're really trying to, it's a slum inning here. Four nothing. First and third. Like Good. It. Here it is again. Looks like a uh, curveball. Gets a piece. Goes the opposite way. Here it is again. <laughs> right in the gap. How come we hear the noise of the bats on the replay? Interesting. It's just amazing. This is technology. Yes. We have the best technology. Robinson Cano is warming up in a bullpen. He looks a little like him. Oh, that's Pedro Arrara. Ar His name is backwards in the mirror. But it's the same whether you spell it forward or backwards. This man should shave. Oh, here's Tori S. Yes. He has to be the smallest Yankee Wait a since minute. Phil Rizzuto. Wait a minute. That's a player? That's a player. Oh, look at him. And the pitch. Low. Where does he buy his suits? At Robert Hall's? <laughs> I don't know, but I think he gets his uniform from Little League. Is that really a player? Yes, he's a very good utility player, like uh, Louis Soho. Soho you, is very clutch. You very, put, very. Yes. Look at him. You can put him anywhere, Tori. Yes, minute. very reliable player. This is... This is like a child at the plate. I have no idea. He's the, he's the same height as the catcher on I his know. knees. I want to hug him. That's Brooks Robinson on third base. Brooks Robinson. I don't know, George. I'm just winging it. I don't follow the Orioles. You're supposed to and the, the game pitch. Oh. oh, my God. It is high. It is gone. No, I thought that was gone. One run will score. Two runs will score. Holy shit, the Yankees have broken this game wide open. Five to nothing. Chuck Walters had enough. He's out of there in the first inning. Tory, yes. Now you know why we called Show Walter Dickface. By the way, this little man just hit the ball very far. Yes, here it is again. I thought it was gone, George, didn't you? I don't I didn't I wasn't watching. Oh, he is pissed. Right isn't right today. Oh, all right. We okay. got it. We we got. We can't show commercials, so I'm gonna put my hand in front. I gotta of... go, Vic. I gotta go. I, I'm due for lunch with 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 several people in heaven right now. George, I'm it's, having it's lunch been a with, pleasure, with George. Teddy, Teddy, Teddy Roosevelt, uh, Charles de Gaulle, and and uh, somebody who lived in the 1910s, and and I don't know who he is, but I'm being introduced. Well, George, it's been a pleasure, and once again, you are always welcome. To be here in the booth whenever you want. This is your house, so you're more than welcome. Rick, I thank you very much for having me here, and and I hope to come back soon. And uh, don't 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 what what what? Take care, George. All right, Vic. I'll see you later. I gotta go wait the bat. That's a hit. Okay. Well, there you have it, folks. George Steinbrenner visited us in the booth today. Have a great day. Let's go, Yankees.